well, and they they degrade you so much, and they they just it's like they just like somehow just stick it in your brain that it's like you're not gonna find anyone better. I'm the best yeah. you're gonna have. You know, I'll love you more than anyone else ever will. Like even if I do these things, it's all out of love. And it's like, and you start to like believe that after so long that like, oh, he did that just because he loves me. You know, maybe if I wouldn't have said this, then he wouldn't have done that. And like, you know, so maybe maybe I am the problem. And it, that's just kind of that's how it started to progress was was in that way of him no one's gonna love you the way I do that kind of stuff and you they they really make you believe that yeah and it's crazy it's because then I look back at it now and like I replay situations that happened or things that he said and it's like how was I so naive to just like believe any of that I know because I know I'm better than that you know you're better than, and just like the fact that we were able to be beaten down so much to like believe such horrible things that they were able to say out of like anger or frustration and or do and it's I mean I think I definitely think also another thing as far as healing goes um and you you never think it you would never think it but forgiveness is like the biggest key for me, as far as healing went, I mean, I, okay, so I'll, I did have a restraining order and a no contact against him. Actually, I still currently do, but I had texted him while we were going through our court case, and I texted him, and I said, I want you to know that I forgive you, but I don't forgive you for you. I forgive you for me so that I can move on and I can move forward, and that's the same thing that I said at his sentencing, like physically to him. I said, I... I forgive you so that I can move forward. That's why I forgive you. And I said, I hope, I truly hope someday your daughter can forgive you too. So yeah, I, I think forgiveness is a big part because if, if you're not forgiving, you're staying angry and you're, you know, and it's okay to relight the anger because I mean, I, I forgave him and now I'm back to, I hate his guts for what he did to her. <laughs> I just, when I thought I couldn't hate him more, oh, I hate him more. <laughs> so, I mean, but I think forgiveness and self-forgiving, you know, for me it was like, how could I have let my daughter live through this? How could I have done this to her? You know, how did I not get out just for her? And I had to forgive myself because in my time of being with him, I thought truly in my head that staying with him was best for her because she could have daddy and she could see daddy every day mm -hmm. until I realized that I have to forgive myself for not leaving and forgive myself for thinking, for, for doing the wrong thing and for not leaving any sooner because I was never going to be able to move forward then. I was never going to be able to be a better mom if I can't forgive the mistakes that I made in the time being. I mean, granted, now it's been two and a half years since he's seen our daughter. And I, it's, she's so happy. And when I brought her home, you know, she was only three months old, but her anxiety, it was through, the, I mean, the remote would fall off the table and she would scream uncontrollably for an hour. Like I had to console her like, and now she's happy, she's healthy, she runs around everywhere, she's the life of the party. And if I would have stayed with him, I wouldn't have that little girl. Hey, I, like I said to you, I wrote him a letter a couple, or like two or three days ago, and it was just kind of, storyline was just, you know, I don't hate you, I hate what you did, but I don't hate you. And, uh, you know, it's, I'm working on forgiving you kind of, it's, I want to forgive you. I'm not going to forget what you did, but I'm not going to sit here and dwell on everything that happened because it's just going to keep holding me back from growing or being a better mom or doing whatever. And so it was just kind of a short and brief thing of just saying, you know, I hope you're better for your daughter someday because, you know, she's going to ask about you. You're going to probably end up in the picture again. And, you know, I hope you become someone you'd want to see your daughter with. And it was just kind of a just a short little, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, like you said, it's still fresh. So we're working on it. It's like, I, I obviously don't want to sit and dwell on it anymore or, or have any towards sort of anger, but it's a work in progress. Yeah, it's kind of all <laughs> over the place. Lot.